Now, I mentioned before the really cool thing that Drobo provides with our 8-bay file sharing storage for business solution, and that's Drobo Sync. It's an integrated off-site backup capability built into our Drobo Model B800FS. And setting it up is absolutely easiest possible setup of a solution like this on the market. Let me uh, take you through that. It's as simple as clicking set up Drobo Sync. I want this particular one on the desk to be the source where I have my data. It's the source and I can walk through and show you that I can have uh, any password that I want, just gotta put it in there. I gotta give it the IP address settings of the target Drobo. This makes sense, it's gotta be able to go ahead and find that. And I happen to know that that is uh, 172.32.16.20. From here, the only thing I have left to do, we call it five-click setup, is to identify what schedule I want to run this on. So let's say that I want it to run at 2 o'clock in the morning every day, and I want it to run on a 24-hour basis. DroboSync will use the network between two sites to make the synchronization of the files. So most people choose to do this off hours as to not compete with voice over IP or other traffic that is going between their two locations. I could though set this as small as a two hour interval to synchronize my data much more regularly. But we'll go ahead and stick with the 24 hours. Uh, click OK and you'll see that I now have that Drobo Sync job set up, ready to go next time the schedule comes around. Now to finish up the configuration, I'll go back to my devices and I'll go to the target system and I will make some configuration there for DroboSync. You'll see that it's even easier than it was on the source. I click uh, set up DroboSync and I sync as target and it'll let me know that the data on that device would be overwritten because we're gonna make an exact copy of what's on the primary or source onto the target. I think that's a good idea so we'll click continue and from here all I gotta do is give it the same password that was set on the source. Really, really simple. And from a networking perspective, I already set on my source how to find the target system with the IP address. This can be a VPN. If you have other services set up, you know, frame relay or other uh, network connection, you only require to have the two systems have the ability to see each other. I have it right now set up here locally in uh, the studio. And it's a best practice to start with the systems in the same location so the primary uh, can sync to the target uh, one time at local area network speeds. And when you take the target and then put it on the offsite location, there'll be a smaller amount of data that needs to sync incrementally, uh, thus not tying up your network connection and having uh, a better sync. So with that, I'll go ahead and click OK. And that's all it takes. It's uh, set up once uh, it accepts those settings. I can go back to uh, my devices and go back to the source under DroboSync, go ahead and give it a test. From now, it would be ready to go ahead and kick off at its regularly scheduled time, two o'clock in the morning every day, but I can start a DroboSync now, and you'll see that the DroboSync is in process, in progress, and I'm copying data from the primary to the target. Now, all the while, I've made a very small number of clicks, and while it might seem like I went back and forth, it's a very straightforward setup process so that I can have an offsite backup solution here with an incredible amount of ease. Uh, once this is done, you'll see that we'll have an updated uh, summary. And in the event of a failure of any kind of this, to this primary, and we're protected from hard drive failures here, so you can have, like any Drobo, a failure of hard drives and never lose the data. But if you had the need to get files, whether it was a uh, ca catastrophic event here with the primary system or you lost connectivity to your primary uh, site altogether, you can go to the secondary site, go to uh, the target, and from here under DroboSync, you can simply change it from sync as target to disabled. And this would uh, effectively restore your ability to access the data on that target system. It's a really quick and simple way to make a restoration. If you wanted to access that target uh, while it was in target mode, you can mount the shares as read only if you want to take a copy of them. But generally speaking, the target is exactly that, a passive system ready to be restored with the click of a button as I showed you here. DroboSync really is the easiest offsite backup solution there is on the market today. To show you how easy it is to check the status, I can go here on the target system under shares and you'll see the same shares that I had configured on my source 
are now available here on the Target system. They are marked as RO or read only. Um, I'm not able to write to those shares because I'm in the DroboSync target mode. And uh, I have that data available here now on my second system, protecting the event that there might be something that goes wrong with the primary system. Going back to the primary one last time, uh, here on the source, I can go under DroboSync and you'll see that my DroboSync succeeded uh, and I can get my status there. I'll say it again, DroboSync is the easiest offsite backup solution that's available on the market and the exact type of solution that a small business or a individual professional organization that has a lot of data and needs to protect it could use for a really great offsite backup solution for a large amount of data.